This is the result of a blazing fire that engulfed this two-story apartment building in Ildakan. 22 people were affected by it, and residents are just happy to have made it out alive. And it's just, it's cold. We have no shoes, no nothing. Everything is inside of there. I mean, it's Christmas time. I mean, it's horrible. It was 2 a.m. when Casey Ambrose was awakened by her baby girl. That's when she saw all the smoke in her home. Get the baby, get the baby. So I, was, I stayed in the room because I didn't want to go into open flames. She frantically gathered her family and raced down the stairs, only to look back and see everything was gone. Think about when you have kids. To say we have nothing and we have to start from day one, it's 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 heartbreaking. Residents nearby were bundled up in blankets as they watched the fire crews battle the flames. It's pretty scary. I mean, I, I got little kids. But in the midst of chaos was a community coming together. They had so many people come up to us and say, are you guys okay? A lady came and bring that jacket. She didn't have that to do. I mean, it's neighbors helping neighbors now. In the time like this, yes. Everyone got out the building safe and sound, even this trapped dog. She was so happy she smelled like a little burnt burrito. With no other place to go, they're still remaining strong. We'll make it through. We always do. The fire department has declared the cause of this fire due to a heater built in the apartment complex that overheated throughout the night. In Lafayette, Laura Levine, KLFY News 10. Anyone interested in donating items to the families affected can contact American Red Cross.